That's just me, that's just me Spinning up and then repeat That's just me, that's just me Okay, beautifuls, I'm just Jackie is here, and I know y'all like, girl, what is you doing? Baby, oh no, baby, what is you doing? Well, babies, beautifuls, I am here to do an eyeshadow look by request of my beautiful sister, Lori. Um, she had tagged me in an eyeshadow palette, and when I did my tag video, I had mentioned uh, this Urban Decay limited limited edition uh, vice palette, and I said I I really hadn't did much with it, and she was like, you know, give us an eye look with it, and basically to see, you know, what I could do with it now, because when I first purchased it, purchased it. I didn't know what I was doing um, with my makeup. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and, you know, get two request videos into one. Does that make sense? Let's get it. Let's go. So as y'all can see, I've already, you know, started my brows. I'm about to finish them up. And right now I have this beautiful brush sephora brand it is the oh wrong brush that's the blending shadow brush <laughs> the brush i meant to pick up was the the flat concealer brush okay so i'm going to use this flat concealer brush from sephora the super cute and the handle is super duper long and i'm just going to finish you know finish off my brows and i'm going to be looking over here in my mirror too beautifuls oh god okay yo this is my first time using the Sephora brand brushes and yeah, yeah, okay, alright, so, you know, let me finish up the other one. Y'all pretty much know my brow routine, it's really simple, it's not as complicated as my, um, my brow videos and my makeup playlist, so yeah, I have really cut down on my brow activity all right so after i finish cleaning them up i'm just gonna take this brush and just brush it up a little bit brush these brows up a little bit make sure they're in the direction i want to go and this is also sephora brand okay yes check out the length y'all this is like your average makeup brush this is the sephora yes so anyway, <laughs> I know I got totally sidebar to the sidebar. So since I'm doing this eyeshadow look, I'm going to go ahead and be precise with it. I'm going to tape off my eyes because I want it precise. All right. And y'all know how I'm just Jackie do. I'm just going to wing it. I don't have no idea what colors how it's gonna turn out sorry or anything so look i'm just gonna do this look for these eyes and then i will you know see what happens from there so now here is the eyeshadow palette this is the urban decay it says vice limited on the back it says beauty with an edge so i don't even know if that's the name of the palette or what beautiful okay just work with me and the cool thing about urban decay i love that the names of the eyeshadow colors are right below the actual color so y'all know that i'm just jackie likes to coordinate okay give me a second okay yes i love to coordinate so i'm kind of i'm gonna try to get a look to go with <clears throat> the colors in my shirt all right so unfortunately these colors here i really don't see a good transition color um in this palette um they do have this back door but that's like really chocolatey and i don't know i've never really did a chocolatey um transition color before and i'm kind of nervous about trying it 
today. But all right, y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead. I, I just want to do all Urban Decay. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna take this back door, and I'm gonna use this gorgeous mirror that comes with the palette, and I'm just gonna do this transition color. I think it's gonna be too dark, personally. But hey, I done started it. And if I look like a damn monkey or raccoon by the time I finish it, it's okay. We're going to make it work. Okay? Go look. I've been doing makeup for a minute. <laughs> anyway, and I'm using the brush from um Real Techniques from their bold uh whatever bold collection but anywho i swear i knew i should have went with my gut y'all i should have just used my normal um what you call it my normal transition color my go-to transition color but y'all already know don't nothing go right on camera y'all know that don't y'all know that mm -hmm, y'all know so i'm just gonna blend this for life because most of the colors on this palette is a shimmer. And I don't like to use shimmer for a transition color. So, I'm just trying to blend for life. Blend it, I'm blending for life now because I don't really care for this transition color. So, we, but we're going to make it do what it do. Alright. I got to come over here. Let's see. Now, I would say one of my favorite colors in here is what i use for my brow bone and it's called lace this color right here it's called lace laced you know with an ed at the end so i'm just gonna take my my brow bone brush and and, and again because it's a nice flat color y'all i'm gonna look like a fucking raccoon <laughs> but we'll see we'll, we'll see what the finished product turns out to be okay cause I said I told y'all I'm just winging it I'm winging it right now uh, and I'm gonna hope and pray cause y'all know what I'm just I'm gonna give y'all the real I'm gonna give y'all the real the real struggle I'm not gonna re-record nothing y'all gonna see this real struggle and see if I can pull it off and y'all gonna tell me if I just Jackie pulled it off. Okay? So, yeah. Let's keep it moving. So, the next color I'm gonna go with is... Let's see. Is the... I wanna go with this pretty, 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 pretty pink, I think. Yeah, I wanna go with this pink. It, it looks like it's like a shimmer pink. It's called Provocator. Provocator? Sh Boy, these damn names. This right here. I'm going to go with that, I believe. All right. So, fingers crossed, baby. I hope the color picks up. We'll see. So, um, I'm just going to stop it right here. I'm not going to go all the way to the end of my eye. And you guys will see why. So I'm just patting it on. I will say this does have fallout. So if you're not a fan of fallout. Eh, you probably won't be a fan of this palette. But that's why I always do my eyes. Before I do my foundation. So I can cover up I any fallout. I want to take out. this brush right here. And I'm going to go with the Perversion. This is the black right here, Perversion. And I'm just going to hit this out of V like so. And then come up a little bit with it in the crease like so. Pray for me, y'all, because I don't know how none of this is going to turn I'm out. I'm going to take this blending brush from uh, Sephora. And I'm just going to blend blend for life so we won't have no harsh lines just like this no harsh lines 
like I said, I'm just going to do what works for I'm just Jackie. There are thousands of makeup artists on YouTube. Y'all want to go check them out? Go check them out. Don't shade at me if you want to. <laughs> Don't shade at Jackie if you want to. Y'all ain't got to throw shade. I throw shade at myself, y'all. I'll tell you quick. Oh, I'll tell you quick. A mess. A mess. So, I'm just going to come back again on top. Cause I just don't want to lose that color. Didn't want it to get lost in between. In between me. You know. Using my perversion. Yeah, I know I, lo I love the, that perversion. You know the Urban Decay perversion. Um, uh, mascara. I need to buy some more. It's been a minute. I've been buying my drugstore brand for a while. I don't know. I just like it. But anyway. Sidebar to the sidebar. Now. Beautiful. One more thing I want to do. Before I get up out of here. With this eye look. And come back with my finished face. <laughs> I want to. Add a pop of color. In the inner corner of the eye. If I can find my brush. All right, I couldn't find the brush that I wanted, but I'm gonna have to find. I found one that's gonna have to do. So now I'm gonna come in and use that green color called floss. And I'm just gonna put it in my um in a corner, right here. Yeah, it's gonna look a mess. It's gonna it, all the it's like so much fallout. If I did a review on this thing. I would be mad because of all the fallout. But, alright. So basically, y'all, this is what this hot mess is looking like right now. I'm trying to zoom in for you. Hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Look how, but anyway, you see how that's what the tape does. It gives you a precise uh look oh i got makeup on my face lord child i got eyeshadow on my face so anyway beautifuls this is what this mess is looking like right now so let me clean up my face get all this extra fallout and splash on some foundation and you know finish this whole look and then i'll come back with the finished look breed of the raccoon Okay, beautifuls, I am back with the finished look, okay? Now, baby, along with this finished look, let me get in here. <sighs> Babies, y'all let me know if I'm just Jackie saved the eye look because y'all saw the struggle that I was going through. And let me just zoom in. Can y'all get that? Let me just zoom in. So y'all can like kind of see the eye look. Now, I know I'd probably need to blend this little outer V a little bit more. But hey, it is what it is, y'all. Um, Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know what y'all think. Y'all, did I save it? Look. Am I giving y'all sultry? Yeah. This is the finished look. Let me zoom back out. Okay. But let me tell y'all about these Sephora brushes really, really quick. Because like I said, my sister Lori, she asked me to do this eye look. And she asked me, how are these brushes at the same time? Let her know how these brushes are. So here's how I kill two birds with one stone. So I did use this fan brush. This is what they call the, they just call it a fan brush. I did go in and do a little highlight with my Mac that was gifted to me from my sister Sonetta, probably about a year ago today, you know? Um, and, uh, these brushes are 
I love them. I like these brushes. They're soft. You don't have to go, you don't have to be heavy handed because the handles are so long. So all you got to do is just, you know, be dainty with it. Yes. And then like when I was blending with this blending brush, I didn't have to go like, eh. I was just like, it's like you're just touching it. Like you, and it feels so soft, soft and subtle, so supple whatever whatever the word i'm trying to say y'all know the word i'm trying to say they're so soft the only thing that wasn't soft was this brush right here which they call the the brow comb and it shouldn't be actually wait a minute it is soft what am i saying this is soft usually they're like really really now it's stiff don't get me wrong it's stiff but it's not it's not hard. It's not it's not abrasive, I should say. It's not really abrasive against my my face. And um the eyeshadow brushes that came with it, really nice cuz y'all saw me I just patted, pat, pat, pat. I didn't have to go heavy because like I said again these handles are so long. You just just a, a light touch will do. So, Lori, I, these brushes are amazing. I think they're amazing. I think they're amazing. Um, thank you to my beautiful sister Petrina for gifting me this brush set. If y'all remember the haul video, they came in this um, brush hand, you know, compartment like so. And um, but the coolest part about these brushes, sorry y'all, is the length. I love the length. Of these brushes I'm trying to find one of my everyday brushes that I use to show you guys the difference like okay like when I use this brush to do my contour look look at the difference in the length like I use this for my I this is a, a brush I use for my highlight look at that amazing amazing so beautifuls y'all let me know <laughs> If I'm just Jackie pulled it off. Honestly, this would be like an evening look for me. Um, I'm thinking that's what was throwing me off when I chose that uh back door for a transition color. It's more of a sultry evening. If I want to use it as a transition color, it is more for evening. Okay. Um, y'all know I'm not used to using darker colors for a transition. I'm used to using staying in my lane with the reddish, brickish, whatever, or flesh tone, my flesh tone for transition colors. But yeah, this is the eye look, y'all. Okay. I hope I did this look some justice, y'all. So I guess my question to my beautifuls is, beautifuls is, Again, did I save the look? Y'all know I was looking like Rita the Raccoon before I got off camera. So when I came back with my finished face, did I save it? Did I do it? Or nah? Face? Or nah? Let me know, beautifuls. So until the next video, deuces.